Hello and welcome to Of Mods and Men. This episode will be focusing on FTL. Because the mods are relatively small and not really good to do a full video on each one, I'm going to be just doing a top 10 list of my favorite mods. Before we begin, I want to mention that you should be using the Grognax Mod Manager because all of the mods that I will be listing are compatible with it. It's a very simple tool. Basically, you just throw the mods in the mod folder and then run the mod manager and it will install it and patch it all on its own. At number 10 we will have the Mass Effect Total Conversion mod that's been created by Captain Brian. This mod will be a conversion to Mass Effect meaning that the characters will be changed to various species and the Mass Effect universe and the ships will also reflect it as well. The story will basically be that Cerberus has taken control of the Reapers and you have data that will help decimate the elusive man's ship and you need to bring it to him while being chased by Cerberus. The reason I have this at number 10 currently is because the mod is not completed yet. Currently there is a release for it but all it really does is just replace the various aliens with the alien species from Mass Effect such as the Slug being the Asari, Zoltans being the Geth, and NG being the Quarian and other examples like that. The mod's objectives look pretty interesting though and I'm hoping that it turns out really good when the mod is eventually released. At number 9 we have the Crystal Quest Tweak mod by Stickman. One of the most annoying things about getting the Crystal Ship is how much dumb luck is required to get it. This mod will guarantee that a stasis pod will be one of the nodes in NG space and will also give you a quest icon in the appropriate sector after you activate the stasis pod. That way you won't miss the wormhole event and it will give you a better chance of acquiring the ship. At number 8 is the Disable Fleet mod by Aider. As you can probably figure out, this mod disables fleet pursuit so you can explore the entirety of a sector should you desire it. This does end up unbalancing the game because of all the resources you gather, but it can be fun for a change of pace playthrough every once in a while. At number 7, it is the Turning the Tide mod by Kiev. This mod alters your encounters with the Rebel Fleet to increase your risk reward factor for gathering supplies, so it may end up being worthwhile to attack the approaching fleet and to try and stop their advance in a sector. Or it may result with your terrible death. The choice is yours. Number 6 is just a general combination of additional events and text mods. There are several mods that will add additional random events or slightly modify already existing events. My personal favorite is the Pirate Mod by Morat48, which changes events such as the Pirate Chasing Civilian Ship event so that you can help the pirate instead of fighting him if you want. There are many other mods that will make changes too, so just take a look at what's available. For number 5, it'll actually be a combination of two mods that kind of complement each other. First is the Ghosts mod, which are substitutes for humans. Ghosts have a ability to survive in a vacuum, with the trade-off of having only half the health of humans. The Ghost Stories mod will add unique ghost ships, weapons, and events to add extra flavor to your FTL runs. Number 4 is the Advanced Battle Systems mod by Nader Ya yeah Buddy. This mod will increase the max power of Teleporter to 4, which means that you'll have an instant cooldown for your Teleporter. It'll increase the Cloaking to 8, which will give you a 40 second cloak. It'll increase Weapons to 12 and Shields to 10, which will give you 5 Shields bars. Some would argue that this mod unbalances the game, but I feel the extreme cost for the upgrades more than make it fair. At 
For number 3 we have weapons mods, with my personal favorite being the Weaponanza mod by San Monku. This mod will basically add weapons that have slightly different properties from existing weapons, such as hull damaging bombs, fire missiles, and ion missiles. The reason I recommend both this mod or the Balanced Arsenal mod by Sleeper Service is because the weapons are not overpowered, so you don't feel like you're cheating. If you want overpowered weapons, check out the Lost Arsenal of Mods and Overpowered Weapons. For number 2, it is not one mod, but any collection of custom ship mods that are available. Personally, I find it very exciting doing a playthrough as, say, the Millennium Falcon, Klingon Bird of Prey, Death Star, Star Destroyer, Starship Enterprise, Halo Battle Cruiser, or any other ship that you might like, so check out what's available. Finally, at number one, it's the Better Planets and Backgrounds mod by San Monku. Ordinarily, I wouldn't put a purely cosmetic mod as number one. However, the backgrounds in this mod just look awesome, and vanilla FTL backgrounds just look bland in comparison, so I can't really see myself removing this mod and going back to it. For that reason, that's why I have it no at number one, and you guys should really check this mod out as well. That'll wrap up this video then, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to stress that these are my opinions on mods, that it's not the be-all end-all of what you should get. Which is why I am leaving the FTL Master Mod List link in the description for you guys to check out any available mods that you might want to try out. These are just my recommendations on what you should look at. Until then, I will see you on the next of Mods and Men.